welcome to this edition of Phil Wright Tips and Tricks. My name is Jeff Gerber. I work in technical service here at Tuthill. Today's edition, we're going to show you how to wire the 300 series fuel pump. There's a few unique features about the pump. One is the dual voltage. You can set the pump for either 115 volt AC wiring or 230 volt AC wiring. Um, another thing that you need to be aware of is the pump must be wired by a licensed electrician according to uh, local, state, and national codes. So we're going to rotate the pump here and show you the end bell, which has the junction box here, as well as the voltage select switch, which is right here. So the voltage select switch says either low or high on the bottom. If you're going to wire it 230 volt, you need to loosen this screw right here, push the triangular plate up so that the bolt is at high, tighten it back down. That changes the internal wiring of the motor to be wired for 220 volts AC. Now we're going to remove the junction box cover here. Start here. These bolts are a 10 millimeter head. So that's the size you're going to need to break these loose. So now that we've removed the junction box cover, one thing to keep in mind, the conduit opening on the side of the junction box for your conduit to come in, this is a half inch NPT thread. So keep in mind also there is a O-ring on the inside of the junction box cover. So if it comes out when you take it off, make sure you put it back into place when you replace the junction box cover. So let's pull the wires out of the junction box here and kind of explain what these are. So you'll notice here on this orange wire, there is a little wiring diagram. One side is for the 115 volt AC and the other side is for the 230 volt AC wire. So just to kind of walk through that, AC power is typically powered by a hot and a neutral. The black and the white wire are your hot and neutral. So your hot, your hot line comes to the black, your neutral is on the white. Now that's for 115 volt AC. If you're wiring 230 volt AC, you have two hots. One will go to the black, the other will go to the white. So for 230, you have a hot on both the black and the white. For 115, your hot is on the black, your neutral is on the white. This green wire that is in the junction box, this is your ground. This goes back to the ground point in your electrical panel. This wire must be used for safety. The orange wire is simply an auxiliary wire. It has this cap on the end of it that's crimped to the wire. This wire will become hot when you turn on your pump handle. This wire is typically used with fuel management systems. It can also be used to turn on another device, such as a solenoid valve. Uh, we've even had folks use it to turn on lights so they know when the pump is operating. This concludes the wiring tips for Phil Wright's 300 series fuel transfer pump. Thanks for watching this edition of Phil Wright's Tips and Tricks. Please click like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this.